You know the strangest thing happened to me today, like it's straight out of a daydream or a siffy novel? I decided to try out something a little unconventional. Picture this, the serenity of my yoga studio, me in the zen zone, moon salutation in progress when this crazy idea hits me. I thought why not mix in some songbird energy into my yoga practice. And just like that, I ended up singing a Korean lullaby while I was doing the moon salutation. Crazy idea, I know. On any other day, the two things don't cross paths, but you remember that beautiful lullaby my mom used to sing? It somehow felt the most natural thing to intertwine the two. Oh, the baffled face of Nia, my yoga instructor, I should have captured that. Laughter in that room was like a chorus of summer bugs, so incredibly wholesome. Shared about my little stunt with our wacky group, too. Pierre and Max had the most amusing responses. You know their usual mischievous banter. Max suggested I apply for the title of hybrid talent. Haha, <laughs> it does have a quirky ring to it, don't you think? Also out of nowhere, Max brought up figs. You know the fruit? A ramp. Said they were like a strange alien fruit. And then the conversation took an unexpected turn. We ended up imagining an alien invasion led by figs, complete with fig trees required for flexible superheroes. Honestly, the absurdity was through the roof, but had me in fits. Oh my, did I mention, Pierre's always seeking those indie rock recommendations, still stuck in his alternative music phase. I told him about Jupiter Aquas, not exactly French, but good enough to quench that indie thirst. You remember their track Tech, right? The one with vibrant Congo rhythms, introduced me to a whole new world last summer. Speaking of music, my guitar's been neglected for a few days, might try strumming some tunes later. Max's brainstorming doesn't end there, of course. He came up with this peculiar thought of eating a meal backwards, like dessert first. I swear, his ideas could definitely give the most advanced AI a run for its money. It's always hysterical to see where his cookie trails lead to in our conversations. Keeps us on our toes for sure. Roaring with laughter, I told him his ideas were strangely brilliant. Avant-garde, even. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Feels like I've filled today's quota for quirkiness with my singing yoga stunt and our group's wild imaginations. I should be getting back to my songwriting. Perhaps I could write a song about our fig tree-bending heroes. Would be quite a hit, don't you think? Today's virtual cinema night was such a blast. I swear we could practically do a thesis on dramatic themes with all the German series we watched. And our commentary, complete with personalized plot predictions and character analysis, we should record them next time. I mean, did you see the climax of Babylon Berlin? Straight off an idiosyncratic artist's palette, it was raw and striking. And speaking of striking, Pierre's reference to dark was quite intriguing. His descriptive insights into the twisted timeline even bewitched Sun Wu, our logical Einstein, for a second. It was like we stepped into a multi-dimensional time warp from the comfort of our homes. And let's talk about Deutschland 83. Yi Jin was spot on about its deep dive into the Cold War era. The exploration of tension and political dystopia was superb. It's like living history, sans the fear of crossing any border. Oh, Sophie was suggesting to add Italian series to the mix for next time. What do you think? It could be like a European visual tour from our comfort zones. And it's definitely a unique way to get the hang of languages. And moving from European series to Asian delicacies, I promised Pierre that my failed kimchi pancake saga was not on a loop. Recipe adjustments are in order. Remember Heejin's secret ingredient tip? Ramyun seasoning seems to be the missing link. Quickly jumping back to the series, I just had this random thought. Imagine the waves turned into characters. They could be the unpredictable anti-heroes, sometimes calm and peaceful, other times unruly and destructive. I told Ava and Jessica about our cinema night. They loved the idea. We are all set to lay back, snack on, and transcend into an alternate universe of drama and thrill. You know, each time we do this, it's like a culture journey. And before I wrap up, Max shared his food venture today. Biryani. He pops those food trivia like bursting candy. His culinary roller coaster ride is sometimes even more dramatic than our series night. As for Pierre, he's still our humble music enthusiast, somehow intertwining rain and music in the same sentence. 
Ah, uh, all these stories and the universe of series we dive into, it's like a beautiful symphony in itself, like an abstract tale narrated with the strokes of vibrant characters and plot lines. Well, enough narratives for the day. Time for some quiet and peaceful ending notes. Some soulful strumming on my guitar. It's been neglecting me for a while. It's demanding my attention now. All right, so today was a musical expedition of sorts. My heart came alive with a blend of reggae and Korean folk music. It was a medley of soul-stirring rhythms that caused a fascinating symphony of ideas in my head. Bob, my reggae music mentor, had a major role to play in this sonic vision. His expert guidance swept me into the vibrant world of reggae. On the other side, it was Jung Soo, with his tale-like knowledge of Korean folklore, who introduced me to the enchanting rhythms of Korean traditional music. Together they made for an unlikely duo, but boy did they ignite magic in me. The result? A fusion track filled with the breath of two cultures, my own identity echoing in every beat. The highlight, though, presenting this spectacle on the grand stage of a multicultural music festival today. Just picturing Talia, my artist consultant, and Lucas, my well-traveled companion, in the audience swaying to beats of my song, sends waves of excitement down my spine. The after party was a riot of words full of vibrant congratulations and mad laughter. Wouldn't want today to end any other way. When I shared the news with Pierre, Hyejin, and Max on chat, their reactions were unanimous, complete and utter delight. Max declared my new track dope, and coming from him, that's a high compliment. Pierre chimed in with his major props as well. It's their constant support that gives me the courage to dream and dare. They are the moonlight to my night sky, always guiding, always illuminating. Hijin is already plotting a success party where we would cook together. Her teokbaki recipe is long due for a taste test. And speaking of food, Max asked about the revamped kimchi pancakes recipe. Well, thanks to Hyajin's batter tip, they were absolutely divine. I'm telling you, she's a genius in disguise. But hey, amidst all this musical whirlwind, there was a hilarious bet. Pierre mentioned flared jeans making a comeback. You know, the 90s vibe. Max even joked about getting a mullet again. Could you believe it? I dared him, told him the day he gets a mullet, I would dye my hair neon green. Just picturing Max's face transitioning through shock, amusement, and playful challenge is worth a thousand laughs. Well, that's about it. Time for me to retreat to my bed, replaying the songs of today, the laughter, the crazy conversations, and the joy of music reverberating in my heart. Between Max's dare and the rhythm in my veins, who knows what daybreak brings. For now, it's back to the comforting melodies of my dreams. <laughs>